a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. Knock your works up. I'll bail you more than that, lunatic Lou. You're not paying me enough. I'm gonna stop you right there, Cornelius. Never know who might be listening in. You need to get this shit out of control here. Because until you do, your brother's case isn't going anywhere. There's no call for that kind of talk. I'll send over a call. A couple of my best men. They'll see to it that you're kept safe. Cornelius is 60. Dipshits of this state first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I already gunned him down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is gonna do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. And watch out for the cops. This day's been a goddamn chore. I'm about ready for my medicine. Crazy, or did you catch that too? No sign of nobody. What are you waiting for? Go! Go!
Savior I need is the Lord ah! Jesus Christ, not some colored boy. Ah! 